Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Vulcanoids, the steampunk volcano survival game. And I am surfacing right now with my tier four maximized drill ship. And uh, the reason being is because I need to prepare myself for what is presumably the final battle. Not presumably, like it's the final battle. It's literally like the, the quest was called the final battle or something. But I asked for some pointers in the comments on the last video on how to approach this final battle. And uh, most, of the, most of the comments seem to agree that you bring lots of explosives. So I'm gonna bring uh, as many hand grenades as I can uh, and also high explosive mortars, uh, which I need to I need to get crafting some more. I think I have some stuff crafting. You can see the uh, sulfur is going down very rapidly. We do not have a lot of them. There we go. There's some more high explosives. There's some more grenades. So uh, I've got 19 high explosives right now. And as far as grenades go, I have 50, I think. I'm happy with 50 grenades. Am I, I'm gonna run out of sulfur soon. I should also get, there should be another titanium armor. Oop, I just took not titanium armor. There we go. I'm definitely gonna carry some extra armor on me. So now for this, I have no idea what this final battle actually entails. I don't know if my drill ship is involved at all. So I don't know if like, if my drill ship has to be well like fortified or anything like that. But I think as far as all this stuff goes right now, um, I feel like I'm doing okay. I am definitely going to save before I tackle this mission because I'm assuming I'm gonna fail a couple of times. All right, I am now out of sulfur. So I think that's all of the high explosive ammunition I'm gonna be able to craft right now. Oh, interestingly, I just realized I don't actually, I'm still crafting these. It just takes a long time because I need five Titan tubes and four diamonds. And in order to get those, I need to make diamonds and Titan ingots. And those just take a long time to craft. But you can see that we are crafting those still. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time. Well, I'm just going to give it until the eruption. We have two minutes till the eruption. And then I'll just head straight there, save, and take on this battle and probably die. Because I have literally no idea what I'm getting into right now. Okay, and with 15 seconds of spare, I'm calling it. We're heading underground. I do not want to risk this eruption. I now have a total of 30 high explosive mortar rounds. And I was looking at the damage and the high explosive mortars do 200 damage as opposed to the regular ones, which only do 60 compared to a grenade, which does up to 100 damage. So a grenade is actually better than a mortar, but a high explosive mortar seems to be actually the best. All right, so now that we're underground, let's head to the laser, which I think I have to go here. And then I have a shortcut straight to the uh, the heart of the volcano over through here. And I think the laser has just opened up. We got to go up through the magma. And oh, it's in a different spot. The laser was over at Volcano Heart 1 uh, last time I was down here, but now it appears to have moved. There's Volcano Heart 4. Oh, there's a there's other drill ships here. I was hoping that the Volcano Heart was just gonna be like an isolated entrance and all I was gonna have to worry about was a laser, but it appears there will be other drill ships to compete with. Ooh, sulfur. I don't know why I'm getting this stuff. I've already crafted my ammo and I'm gonna be sending my drill ship underground, I think, as soon as I can. But it's just so hard. I'm just like, I, I have the looting mindset. I gotta loot this stuff. All right, so here we are, preparing, mentally preparing myself for this final battle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a save right now. And I think we are ready to head in to the heart of the volcano. Here we go. Let's check out the cinematic camera. All right, this is apparently the heart. This is what a volcano heart looks like. If you've been taking your volcano anatomy. All right, I don't see any uh, threats right now, which is, that's fine by me. But uh, apparently, the, I think we're going, for, by the picture on the surfacing area, I think we're going after a laser. Oh, there's a lot of sulfur ore around here. So let's get out of here and send the drill ship underground. Get this thing out of the way of any potential hostiles that might be coming in. I'm gonna take my sniper rifle out for now. I like that there's a lot of sulfur here because uh, sulfur is good for making some ammunition. All right, where am I going? There's two high level drill ships, but where do I go? Wait, quest volcano, hold on. Did I do this wrong? It says use drill ship to travel. I thought I was supposed to travel here where I am right now. Travel to Volcano Heart 2. Isn't this Volcano Heart 2? All right, my drill ship is here. What do you need? What, what, what? 
Destroy crane legs. Oh, there it is. What? Why does my drill ship have to be here for me to have the quest uh, information? Approach the target, destroy all modules, use grenades to do it quickly. All right, I'm sending my drill ship back underground. I'm not, I don't want this thing up here. All right, that is weird that my drill ship being going underground actually takes the quest away, but I don't want my drill ship to be unnecessarily exposed. And uh, there's the crane. So I know I got to take out those crane legs. And there are three drill ships around this thing. I just got to focus on the crane legs though, right? I don't think this is going to work if I... Do I got to take out the drill ships to be safe? I don't know. I don't know how this is supposed to work yet. I should have crafted more sniper ammo. I got 26 bullets left. I mean, some of them are one-shot kills though, so it's pretty good. All right. Yeah, this is gonna get difficult. I can already see this is gonna get difficult really quick. Oh, hello. Okay, it's time to go on to something else. Where's my uh, SMG? There we are. All right, I'm gonna move. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just going. 11 bullets left, not enough to kill this guy. Nope, nope, reload, reload. There we go. All right, we're getting shot from, oh boy, there's a, uh, what am I, what? A sniper just tried to shoot me, I swear. Okay, there we go. I saw a bullet come from that direction. All right, anyway, this is okay so far. Uh, so let's get our, oh, that's where it came from. He's sniping me from way over there. Let's get our high explosive mortar. Take out those, dang it. Take out those turrets. Please be a good hit. All right, that seemed good. All right, took three shots to take that out. That's not bad with the high explosives. I have 30 total. Whoa, that's a grenade launcher too. All right, one leg down. This feels this feels easy so far. Not bad at all. All right, let's get back to, let's reload our SMG and our sniper. Sniper is good for picking off some of them uh, before we get into the heat of battle. Okay, so, oh, this is where things are gonna get bad because in order to get to the other legs, I essentially have to approach tier four drill ships. So I got these guys over here. I got that sniper turret looking at me. Look at him, look at, look at what, he actually hit me. All right, let me see if I can, I'm gonna use a regular mortar. Oh, I don't have a lot of regular mortars on me. I'm gonna use a regular mortar to range find. All right, can you shoot me from here? No, I think he's good. Am I getting ambushed right now? I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. I'm taking out my sniper, preparing for this. All right, ready? Ha! He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care. All right, can I shoot from here? All right, I hit him. What? How is that not a hit? How? What? What? How are these not hits? Sniper needs a better, uh, better accuracy. Okay, there we go. All right, no, 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 no. All right, time to range find this thing. I got regular mortars. How's that? That was a hit. All right, let's switch to the explosives now. I mean, the high explosives. I hear bots to my left. No, I just found the range. Now I got to do that again. All right, now you're dead. And let's go back to regular mortars. What was it, like right there? No, a little bit higher. I still did some damage though, so that's good. There we go, that gun's done, but I can't see the other side of that to damage it. So I am gonna have to go around, I think. So let's just do it. Oh boy, we got a bunch coming right now. We got a whole bunch coming over. I like how when I shoot, they stop for a second. Oh, we got a sniper over there too. All right, it is machine gun time. My machine gun, I mean submachine gun. Hey, 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 that's not fair. I couldn't really see you yet. Oh boy, they're really doing a number on my armor. I should have brought more armor. Okay, it might be grenade time. All right, yeah, it is grenade time. There we go. Oh, there goes my armor. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, time to put on armor. I'm almost dead. I'm actually kind of almost dead. No, 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 let me put on my armor first. Okay, this might, I may not have enough ammo. 
I may need to rethink my ammo choices. Okay. Ah. Uh, I, I I think I should have brought more armor than I brought. All right, I'm gonna use my minigun on these guys. I actually felt like it may have been a bad decision. It took a long time to do that. Okay, uh, I just don't like that I have to walk by these drill ships. I just want to ignore the drill ships and go straight to the legs. But no, I got to literally walk right by this thing, don't I? Hold on, let me look at the map. Get some cover and look at the map. Any cogs over here? Nope. All right, so yeah, there's a drill ship right there. I don't think I, I don't think there's an easier way to do that. All right, let's just get my grenades out. Oh, no, the guns on the ship are... I'm just going to rush. I'm going to rush towards... Oh, my goodness. I'm rushing towards the... Oh, the leg has a gun. Go, go, go this way. This is a bad idea. I'm definitely going to die. I'm just experimenting right now. <laughs> All right, I'm actually surprised at how little is chasing me. Oh, there's another gun on that? Okay, there we go. Got that leg. Um. Okay, let's hide. Let's hide. Where can I hide right now? I need to heal. Here we go. There's one more leg left over by that drill ship. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Grenade, 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 grenade. Press the grenade button. Okay, there we go. All right, my armor is broken again. I'm getting shot from all over. I'm dead. I am so dead. Yeah, I am definitely dead now. Okay, we've learned. I have learned uh, yeah, what I'm expecting now. So there's that. So let's go ahead and load up the previous save. So now I'm definitely gonna get myself more armor. That's one of the things that I've just learned is more armor needed, but where is the armor? All right, I'm also, I don't think the Gatling gun is worth it at this point. The bullets don't do enough damage and uh, it's super, super slow as far as like moving with the gun. So I just don't think it's a good option, but I do want some more regular turret uh, or regular mortar ammo. So let me get some regular mortar ammo. And I think that's all I can really carry right now. All right, so let's try this again. I'm still not ideal. I do have extra armor though this time. So I can uh, repair my armor twice instead of just the once. But I think ideally I want to make more uh, explosive ammo for my weapons. So more SMG ammo and more high explosive ammo too. All right, let me just take it slowly through these initial things. Man, I just, there's so many, just, there's so many drill ships just surfaced here. All right, man, the, uh, the sniper's doing really good for me right now. Just taking out these individuals, all one hit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna use my mortar. From it. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, how is that not a hit? How is that not a hit? Well, that was a waste of armor right there. All right, high explosive mortar, taking a risk, just doing the first shot without range finding, and I wasted it. That was a waste. All right, here we go. So, first leg, you know what? First leg's relatively easy. I shouldn't waste my mortars on it. I should just approach and use hand grenades because there's nobody over here attacking me right now. Oh, except for that thing. I forgot about that. All right, in that case, I'll just use regular mortars. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Whoa, 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 excuse you. All right, I got people coming up from behind now. Man, they're so sneaky. They just sneak up on you. Okay, back to mortaring this leg. This is the easy leg, though. All right, there's one side down. Yeah, once again, I'm using regular mortars for this leg, so it takes a little bit longer. Well, that's just because this leg is the easiest. I'm the safest while I'm doing this one. So I'm going to save the high explosives for the legs that I'm under threat much more. All right, this should be it. I think this is going to be the one. There we go. Okay, one leg down. This time, I'm going to go... Uh, the map isn't giving me that much to work with. Oh, can I? I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one before he can get me. That sniper was messing me up over there. Oh, okay, hold on. Where's my sniper? Let's get this guy real quick. There we go. All right, back on this sniper turret. Maybe, you know what, would I? 
It might be cheesing a little bit, but could I try to actually just long distance all of the legs without walking over to them? What will happen if I do that? Am I still, I'm still damaging and I'm getting the hit marker. I got a bot about to shoot at me over here. Come at me. All right, he did get a little bit of damage off more than I was expecting. Okay, so now that thing's not, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I, I have a decent view of some of the legs from here. I mean, parts of the legs from here. So I'm gonna just do as much damage as I can from this safe spot and by, it's relatively safe. Am I getting shot at again? Oh, sniper, huh? Sniper versus sniper? Okay, he's actually not getting hit as much as I thought he was gonna get hit. There we go. All right, this isn't too bad. I think I found a working strategy. And I haven't even lost a single arm. Wait, are you serious? These snipers are sneaking up on me. There we go. All right, back to this. My drill ship is still on the surface, by the way. And the reason I'm doing that is because I was worried that I was gonna mess up the quest if my drill ship wasn't on the surface, because only when my drill ship is on the surface do I actually get the quest information up in the corner of the screen. And man, they just keep sneaking up on me. Reload, I'm almost out of ammo for this. Okay, it's gonna be hand grenade time, I think. Ooh, look at that gun. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, they're sneaking up on me over here. Okay, man, these guys are sneaky. There's a lot of them, too. Ah, ah, ah. What is this guy doing? He's just standing there. Whoa. Oh, that was epic. All right, there's a lot all of a sudden. There are a lot of them attacking me. Maybe my strategy, is the AI actually like decent? Did they, did they notice that I was attacking the drill ship from the safe area and they sent out reinforcements? I assumed that the, the, the cogs wouldn't go, come out of their way to attack me. I thought just if I was in their general area, only then would they really care. But I'm using a lot of these grenades actually, and I feel like I'm wasting a lot at this point. Let's just get this guy. He hasn't been moving the whole time. How many more are there? All right, I'm gonna use SMG now. All right, that is a lot of dead cogs here. If I could get some SMG, explosive SMG ammo back, that'd be great. Nope, they have all the ammo that I don't use. I'll take some health though. Okay, uh, now that I got a little bit of a lull here, let's get back to mortaring. What, what was I doing? I was trying to mortar this stuff. I can mortar that one over there. I think I have a, oh no, come on. Come on, leave me alone. They're not gonna leave me alone, are they? They're just gonna keep approaching. Oh, they're going back. It's like I wasn't in that area that I killed them from, so they went back. Uh, ooh! Ooh, that can see me now. Okay. What about from here? All right, I got a hit. I got 10 of these normal mortars left, and I'm getting attacked again. Okay, hold on. Nope, no hit. There we go. Wait, another one? Was that him? Did he shoot after he died? Okay, back to this. Think about there was where I was aiming. I have three left. Oh, that leg is done. All I have left. Oh, whoa, that is some range. I'm impressed that he took that shot. Okay. All right, let's go for this leg now. I want... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, they're so sneaky. You guys are so sneaky. Okay, there we go. Oh, I destroyed something. Can I hit, do more damage? Oh, I am doing some damage. I can't actually see what I'm shooting right... The cog core exploded and crumbled like dry leaves falling into the hearth of the volcano and slowly melting away. Did I do it? One by one, each cog unit fell silent as the source of their power vanished. The rage that had filled the volcano slowly faded, washed away by the wind and cleansing rain. Now dormant, the clear skies and calm waters attract the attention of passing ships, calling them back to the tropical island oasis once again. 
The news of the sudden change spreads quickly, and thanks to radio and telegraph, it soon reaches the exiled islanders. Before long, the first ships start to return, bringing the exiled Adronasi back to their homes. We saved the them. The harbor is teeming with life again. People we are a search hero. the island for the expedition that have been sent to investigate the volcano. Soon, <laughs> islanders discover That's me. the expedition crew. That's me. Story of their great struggle with the cog resonates throughout the island. The Dranos will never forget the names of the heroic drill ship crew who bravely fought the cog menace and a crew of to one the island from their grasp. I guess me and the captain, the captain that was giving me the orders, I suppose. I have won. The Adrenos expedition expedition has been successful. Thanks to you, the exiled islander can now return to their homes. So we get all kinds of fun stats here. It took me 13 and a half hours to complete the game. 32 eruptions survived and 56 landing sites visited. So what happens if I, if I click continue? Oh, I'm just here. Are the cogs all gone? Okay. So we got to see the, uh, so now we get to see the actual destruction of the final laser in the heart of the volcano. Let me uh, call my drill ship. Oh no, I, I'm just gonna go to my drill ship. My drill ship is actually still surface. There's something that I've been meaning to craft for my drill ship that I never did, uh, just because I didn't think I was going to need to use it, but I still wanna see how it works before we uh, before we end this. Because obviously we beat the main game, but we can still have fun with our drill ship in the meantime. So the thing that I wanna craft is this uh, gunner seat, because apparently you can control your turrets manually with a gunner seat, which actually seems Seems pretty cool, but uh, I need copper because I'm all out of copper stuff. All right, so check it out. We have a gunner seat produced, a device that gives direct turret control to its users. Build it in a drill ship to take advantage of it. I don't actually, oh, okay. Apparently I gotta find a spot to put it. So I don't, does where I put it really matter? Let's put it, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it right there. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right. We got some controls up at the top left. Switch turrets. Oh, this is so cool. I can actually switch my turrets like this. This is actually pretty cool. Can I? Oh, I can damage myself. Drill ship taking damage. Whoops. This is my pistol. Turret is packed. Press Q to, do oh, I can deploy a turret manually. Whoa, there we go. Is this a mortar turret? Oh yeah, it is. That's pretty awesome. I don't think there are any more actual enemies on the island, but I just wanted to see what this was all about. Yeah, so that's definitely a cool option if you had uh, teammates that you were playing with, because this is uh, multiplayer as well. So if you had teammates you were playing with, you could have some people man some turrets while other people went out to fight the cogs and stuff. So that would be pretty cool. All right, well, this is our final drill ship right here. This is the drill ship that we disabled an entire volcano with somehow. You can see up in the top, volcano eruption is in infinity time because apparently we have made the volcano dormant. Is there an actual verb for that? We've dormanted a volcano. And of course, in a volcano survival game, I guess once you deactivate, Activate the volcano, which is the threat to your survival, then you win the game. I want to thank you guys for all the support on this Vulcanoid series. Obviously, we're going to be moving on past Vulcanoids now since we beat the game once again. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave some feedback down in the comments uh, if there's anything else you want to see on the channel. Uh, I've definitely got some stuff in mind already, but I'm always curious what you guys think as the audience. And don't forget, there is a playlist down in the description with this entire series from start to end, so you can watch it back from the beginning if you really enjoyed it that much. If you want to see some other awesome stuff on the channel, you can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.